Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this tutorial, we will see how we can add a reCAPTCHA in our application, in our React.js application, similar to this one. So let's say if we have one form and we want to add reCAPTCHA in our form so that user can click on it and after that user will be able to submit the form. So let's say if we have any to-do application and we want to add this recapture. So how we will add recapture in our React.js application. So let's get started with that. So for that we will open command prompt and here we will check first whether node.js is installed in our system or not. So first we will write node-v then we will check npm is properly installed or not npm hyphen v now these two things installed after that to create the react.js application what we have to do we have to write npm install create react app create react app so you have to run this command npm install create react app and if you want to install it globally then you can add here hyphen g it will install globally in your system since i have already installed in my system so i'm not installing it right now next thing is we have to create project so let's say i'm going to create to do application here so i'll write npx now we have another command to create react.js project is npx create react app and then here i can write the application name so let's say i am writing to do app to do app demo this is my project now it will take little time to create the project and then we can start writing code for recapture so now we can see react.js app is created and uh, then we can directly write here cd to do app demo and then we can write npm start just wanted to see whether app, our app is created properly or not yes so we can see here react.js application is created and the next thing is we will close it by pressing ctrl c it will terminate the program and then what we will write we will go into the project so we have to write code and hyphen dot this will work only if you have installed visual studio code in your system so after installing visual studio code you can run these steps then you can see we have these projects created by default we have public and then src so we will keep all the things whatever things here so you can see we have index.js and inside index.js we are calling app now in app.js we have these codes so let's add here to do application code so what we will do we can go into the react.js org and then uh, you can see here right we have some code so what i'll do i'll copy it whatever things we have inside this i'll just copy these things so just copy it to do application and then we will paste it here right so now i have pasted it and let's make it let's import this react app so i'll write import react from react and then just rename this to do app with only app okay to do app with only app and then here we are exporting it just save it this program will be called from here to do app uh, index.js so now to do application code is written here let's run it and to run we will open new terminal and then here also we will write npm start just we need to validate whether to do application code is working properly or not
so we have this one let's add something yeah so you can see this is working perfectly fine so instead of writing code i have just copied from the react or application now what we need to do is we have to add here recapture so whenever user will enter save and uh, uh, try to add anything any to do we need to first show here capture and once captcha will be validated then only user should click on this one now since we need to imp include here recapture so what we have to do we will go into the google recapture so we'll have to write here google recapture create we have to write google recapture create and then you can see the first side admin create click here and now you have to log in and after login you will see this form here just right here let's say i'm writing to do app test this is the project name or level name select v3 then here we have to add domains domains for which particular site you want to create your create recapture so for now we are creating for local host although for local host it will not work we can add this one also 0.1 default ip address for local host since now google restricted captcha for local host so it will not work but this is the process that we can do here you can add your actual website name or uh, for example here you can see example.com or actual ip address of your site then click accept and after that you have to just submit it once you will submit it will give you site key and then secret key so you have to just save this and uh, this will basically call from your application now since you cannot use local host i mean you cannot use these site key and secret key in your local host so what you have to do you can search here recapture test key recapture test key something like that and then you will see the first site just open it and then you have to navigate down right so you will see something like this so here we have site key and then secret key so you have to use this site key for your local local site or local host next thing once you get this site key you have to install google recapture google react recapture npm google react let me search google react recapture so basically this particular package you have to install <coughs> google react recapture just you need to run this one and in your application so here it is running we can click on plus symbol and then right click and then paste it here once you will do this it will install react google recapture in your package.json file right so you can see google recaptcha is available here then what we need to do next is we can go from here and uh, then we can use this particular component in our application so now here you can see we have level this is the form we have level and then this is button so what we can do we can add here uh, this particular code right and then you have to import this 
so to import it we can copy from here copy it and then we can paste in the top of the site top of the page now here it is saying you have to enter your site key client site key so one thing is once you will walk once you will work this application for the actual website you have to use the actual recapture site key but for now for testing we have to use this particular key this is the global key everyone can use for local testing and i'll put it here this is the site key and then what you want to do when we click on change so let's say i can write here on change or let's say handle on change so if you want to perform something on it you can write handle on change and then just register this method here i write this dot handle on change equal to this dot handle on change bind and then this now we have to create this function as well so what we will do we can write here handle on change and then or or you can simply copy from here so you don't need to you know write everything so you can just copy this and uh, we can paste it here for now just remove this function keyword and then this one so right now we are just printing whatever values we will get from that capture so as of now we have done we have added recapture and then we have this button and everything right let's save it and once you will save it by default you can see okay in terminal we have selected second terminal let's go into first one since this is already started what we can do we can press ctrl c to terminate it and then we can run it again so now recapture should appear here perfect so now you can see it is saying to do what needs to be done and then here we have box and then it is saying just select this one and then we have this add button so as of now you can click add it will work since we have not added any validation on add button but although you can see recaptcha is working and this recaptcha is used for testing purpose only right so we can disable this button by clicking so let's say whenever whenever we will click on recaptcha it will reach to this one here what we can do we can write this dot set a state and then we can say is uh, verified and then we can say true now we can use this is verified inside uh, a state and here i can say is verified equal to false by default is verified is false once we will click on handle change it will be verified as true now we have to use this while saving the form so here we have add button and uh, what we can do we can add the condition here disabled equal to now disabled equal to here we can write this dot state dot is verified if this is true then if this is true then it will be false so we have to write not symbol if this is false then by default it will be false so is verified equal to yeah by default it will be false so it will make it true this button button will be disabled so now let's go and check so we can see by default this button is disabled we cannot click but once we will take it button will be enabled this is one feature that you can add here right so now once it will be enabled you can now add anything right so this is how we can 
use reCAPTCHA in our application. But make sure whenever local testing is done, replace this token, replace this side key with actual your reCAPTCHA side, side key. Hope you are able to understand the concept of reCAPTCHA. Thank you so much for watching the video.